What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is let's talk about American Robins. This is a different one from Lost in the Pond. A little bit different, isn't it? Yeah. I also didn't know there was American Robins, I just thought a Robin was a Robin. I wonder if there's British Robins. Maybe. Or yeah. Like British Pigeons or... Um, yeah, British, British Pigeons. Seagulls. Like, we know obviously Pigeons, Seagulls, like Magpies, types. Robins, stuff like More that. Like subtypes. Yeah, I, I'm not really... I don't know much about the bird species mm. after the generic like types. what it is, yeah. What it is. Uh, so we're going to learn something new, aren't we? Yeah. It's going to be interesting. It's Lost in the Pond. Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Are you ready to get into it? Yeah. Let's check it out. Let's talk about American Robins, what we got. Whoa, sorry to interrupt the great reaction you're about to see, but we've got a Patreon, haven't we? We do, and for this $6 tier, you can get full movie reactions. Because we have a movie channel, the links are in the description, would appreciate you check it out. Especially for Patreon, because it really, really does help us out, it does. doesn't it? Because we do have a baby coming. We do. Enjoy the video, guys. Sorry for this quick interruption. We found it. I can't believe it. Well, this is an emotional moment for me. Hello, I'm Lawrence, and I'm on a quest to uncover all of the memos that Britain and America lost in the pond, and one of those memos pertains to birds. Okay. I don't mean the British slang phrase birds to mean women. <laughs> I mean actual birds with wings. And right now, it is spring if you haven't noticed. And there's some similarities between spring in Britain and spring in the United States. Yesterday, we had a little bit of drizzle here in Illinois, which is very similar to Britain at this time of year. Yeah, we love a bit of drizzle. Of year. Yeah. Anyway, I forgot to say this in my last video. If you're not yet subscribed to Lost in the Pond, do that now. Same here, we'd appreciate it. But there are some differences, and one of those differences is the types of birds that seem to populate the area. Remember last year when those morning doves decided to live on my window ledge without paying any additional rent? Birdie just looking for worms. Oh, that's Here's teasing. Here's a of worms on the windowsill. <laughs> oh, you scared him! Remember all of my references to cardinals. But there's one other bird with which I've become particularly familiar since moving into my first American house, and that bird is the robin. And I know okay. what my British viewers are thinking. Ooh, Lawrence, we have robins in Britain. Yep. What are you talking about? And that is correct. We do have robins in Britain. Indeed, yeah. our robins Christmas are synonymous robins are with Christmas cards. And do you know why that is? <laughs> I was Same. about to say, what? And then, yeah, Christmas cards. I guess yeah. that does make sense, doesn't it? You like Christmas robins. Yeah, yeah. It's because back in the Victorian age, our postmen were referred to as robins. And so it just transpired ah. that during that time period, they just started sticking robins, the bird, onto Christmas I cards. Know. All that oh, said, wow, the robins either. that I encountered in Britain are not the same as those that I've discovered in my American backyard. But more on that in a bit. Okay. But the fact that they and grey squirrels and magnolia leaves frequent my backyard. And I thought it'd be useful to do this video in what is known in American circles as a mud room but that I've come to know as nature's cinema. And the good thing is, the <laughs> entry cinema. is free. You know, unless you count the mortgage, which is sizable. But the floor is not absolutely covered in popcorn or piss. And one thing I've learned from <laughs> sitting at this window day after day is that American robins are not just in my yarden. They're in that yarden. They're in that yarden. yarden. They're in that They're in every yard. They're everywhere. American robins are among the most Wait, abundant. A bit, I, we may have covered this before. Do Americans not say, do they say garden? They say yard. Do they not say garden at all? No. So that's where... Front I, I, yard, backyard. In my head I put together, saying, is he saying yarden for American British? No, they but, don't say garden. Wow, well, there you go. I knew you said yard, but then in my head I've always just assumed you said garden as no. well. There you go, yarden is yarden. what it is. It's a that's yarden. That's why he's saying it, he's mixing the two. Yeah, that's why it kind of made me click like, oh, maybe no, they, don't. they don't say it. Here we no. go. Abundant bird species in North America with an estimated 380 million residing there. Oh, wow. That's more than the combined populations of the United States, Canada and my house. But don't worry, wow. they're not all crammed into Illinois because that would spell the end of Illinoisan society. <laughs> we no, imagine. In fact, American robins can be found in all states not named Hawaii. Just like raccoons, they were once merely forest dwellers. But as human sprawl took on a life of its own, these adorable little f migrated to America's backyards <laughs> again, Lawrence. just like ah. raccoons. Thanks, microphone, Lawrence. Thankfully, raccoons haven't plagued us like squirrels have. But there is one yeah, four-legged creature who likes to hang out in the backyard, and that four-legged creature is Arthur, my puppy. Arthur's is probably why the raccoons haven't come. Probably. He's probably scaring them, them off, you know, he's giving them that stare that yeah, probably get, keeps them off. Get off my yard. And... Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know what it is about him, but he just really likes to chase birds. 
that's every that's every dog, right? And thankfully, <laughs> he hasn't dog. done that thing yet where he brings us a gift unless uh, it's yeah. my microphone, which now needs replacing. But you when we're in the, the backyard and or just walking down the street, he could be as placid as anything, just walking along. When all of a sudden he darts and pulls me into oblivion, that's when you know that he's spotted a member of the animal kingdom. And invariably, <laughs> round here, that member of the animal kingdom is the American Robin. Leave the okay. bird alone. What's it done to you? Come on. And they just fly away. Barking to no gratitude. No, like, looking. ooh, Lawrence, thank you for putting your dog on a leash so that I don't have to die today. But just like with cardinals, which for my non-American viewers are all over red, American robins are a thing of beauty. Because of their migration patterns, not all Americans experience an abundance of them at the exact same time. Okay. Back to you, microphone Lawrence. Just as I do when I lock myself in the basement during a blizzard, many American robins head south for the winter. But in their case, their migration has little to do with the weather. Indeed, Aww. due to their fluffy plumage, American robins are somehow absolutely okay with Chicago winters, to the extent that you sometimes see them milling about in leafless trees. The reason they head south is because food sources such they look worms very deplete the in the winter. Yeah, what? there's definitely a, a difference there, yeah. isn't there? You can tell. tell. You'd be like, oh, is that is that a robin? <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't. If I saw that, I wouldn't necessarily think that was a robin. But no, then that's not because that's the rob, not robin. It's an American team. robin, not a. Mm. Uh, what I want to know now, let us know in the comments. Is it, is it a British robin or is it just a robin? Is it a robin? Or, yeah, exactly. Mm. I, I reckon it's a British robin, and we've just been like so like ignoring it, and we just call it a robin. No, I think it's just got another name. Let us know in the comments. Let us know. Well, Florida has worms all year round, and that wasn't my attempt at social commentary. On extremely rare occasions, maverick American robins have even been known to migrate all the way to Western Europe, with the majority ending up in Britain. And when I say majority, we're talking like three a year, so, you know, less than the population of my house. <laughs> you know, I spend a lot of time on this Not channel many. talking no. about the differences between Britain and America in the context of the human race. But I think it's sometimes important to acknowledge the other life forms and how they differ from one side of the pond to the other. After all, we spend our entire life surrounded by them and they spend their entire life surrounded by us. Except True. their lives are much shorter than ours. I think I read that robins on average live for about two years. Oh, that seems that's unfair. Really so it's, not, it's is it? important for me to do videos about these kinds of things so that I can raise their profile and make them feel more confident inside. It doesn't really work like that, does it? I don't think robins watch my YouTube channel, but if you do, <laughs> robins, just know that you are loved by everybody in my family. <laughs> Imagine, yeah. Except my cat and, and my dog, dog, obviously. <laughs> Perhaps yeah, they're, they're less well discussed well. is how oh, American anyone. robins got their name. They were named thus I mean, by early... Don't be wrong, they are cute, but they are a bit freaky, aren't they? It's cute because the babies, they're not the most attractive looking little things. Yeah, but although... They need some fur. Poor American robin, though, because the mum is like... You just call my, call my babies ugly. No, give me the side eye. That's mean, isn't it? That is mean. The English settlers who remarked upon their similarity to a bird back in their homeland, and that bird was the European Robin. European At first, the similarity yeah. was there for all to see, with there both birds sporting so a red chest similar front. to that of an Englishman abroad. Ironic. But upon closer inspection, it becomes clear that these settlers didn't have a clue how to Google stuff. If they did, they'd have seen that European Robins, like me after a fortnight in Orlando, also <laughs> boast red faces. Their American counterparts do not. Additionally, American Robins Ooh. have... Yeah, I mean, they're beat. a lot more body orange and a yeah. lot more darker on the and face. And then European ones are just more face yeah. and kind of stopping here. But it's a big difference, isn't it? There is a big difference. And also the size. I don't know if that's just that's just a coincidence that it was a small one. Yeah. A small European one or a big American the one. The American one seem big. bigger as well, don't yeah. they? You almost kind of gone well, but both not Robins. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You've gone one, one's a Robin, one's not. But that's just what we used to. Yeah. I imagine the opposite way around. You'd, people would have gone, think, well, that's, that's not a Robin. Robin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Similar to blackbirds, whereas Euro robins just don't. But the biggest reason that colonists might have kicked what? themselves for not consulting Wikipedia is this. The two birds are not related at all. That's right. Oh, American wow. robins belong to the thrush family, hence my reference to blackbirds. Whereas those from Europe hail from the old world family of flycatcher, which sounds like a Pixar villain, but isn't. And so as I sit here in nature's cinema, it has occurred to me as we approach the end of this video that I haven't yet turned the camera around to show you what I'm seeing. We want the, the cinema. that I haven't done that is, weirdly, the robins haven't shown up today, which sort of undermines my video a little bit. Oh, there's one on the garage roof. No, it's been chased off by a squirrel. Too late. Can we just sit here all day with a camera until we see one? And then we'll just squeeze it into the end of the video to have that pleasing resolution. You have to get off early? What do you mean you have to get off early? We've got a video to make. So I'm using the expensive lens, and I think I'm just going to have to sit here and whisper oh, like wow. David Attenborough. 
which is that what he does when he goes off into the forest with all the gorillas? Not seeing anything so far, but I suppose that's no surprise. Because these robins, I think they do know that I have a YouTube channel. And they've decided to I'm troll me to by them. not coming out when I need them most. I tell you, nature is just hard. There's one. There's one. Oh, yeah. Yes. They are we quite big, it. aren't they? Big, and we that is very it. odd. That one's a bit more grey, though, on the back. It. Mm. Very brown, the orange moment from from very orange. Because while well, I've seen these a hundred times in my backyard, you haven't. Gonna get a worm? Are you gonna find a worm? What are you gonna do, mate? You wanna come over here? We'll share stories, stories of our adventures across the Atlantic. Maybe you're one of the three birds a year that ends up in Britain. You've only <laughs> you got two years to achieve that, so I hope you can. He's a big bugger, isn't he? Which is probably a good thing, because that means he's eating all of the worms in my garden. <laughs> like there. Is that a worm That's or a, a stick? But the birds get confused, like when they see. Twigs? Does that look like there's a worm in it? I think this one's my oh, it's definitely best a worm. Friend. Let me know in the comments what we should call him or her. Part of me believes that he or she is oblivious to my existence, and the other oh, part exactly. believes that he or she is very aware that it's being watched by hundreds of thousands of people. <laughs> Would you like a pineapple? I've heard they eat fruit if you leave it on your bird feeder. That's what a patron told me the other day. By the way, wow. if you like what we do here and you want to support us, you could become a patron at patreon.com slash lost in the pond. Check out the launch of Patreon. Check out our Patreon. Yeah. We would still so appreciate that. Um, let's talk about American Morning Doves. It's also on the screen. Could be your next one. So if you enjoyed that, let us know because we just learned that American Robins have the same name, but are completely different in looks and it's a different breed. Yeah, and it's not in the same family, is it? That's what I mean. It's from yeah. a different family, so it's completely different, but they're both called Robins. And you, to be fair, we probably could have guessed through a difference because, I mean, we made, we pointed out how different they looked, didn't we? Yeah. But uh, interesting. It was interesting. We learned something new today. Hopefully you guys learned something new as well. If you did, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. And watch the video. Have a fantastic day. And we'll see you, legends, in the next one. Peace.